If you thought Samsung peaked with the S25 Ultra, hold up, because the S26 Ultra leaks are painting a very different picture. And honestly, if even half of this ends up true, 2026 might be Samsung's most chaotic glow-up year in a while. I've been digging through early reports, supply chain whispers, all the nerdy behind-the-scenes stuff, and the story is getting real interesting. So here's the deal. Samsung is gearing up for a late February 2026 reveal, maybe early March if things shift. As usual, nothing is official yet, but the timing lines up with their classic playbook. What is new, though, is the brain powering this thing. Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 for Galaxy, rumored to be built on TSMC's new 3 nanometer process, and the early performance estimates? Think big jumps across CPU, GPU, and especially AI. Samsung seems to be leaning hard into on-device AI this year, and this chip is basically the fuel tank for that. But the wild part is the RAM. Samsung might be moving to LPDDR5X, running at 10.7 gigabits per second. That's a huge bump from what we had before, and it basically means smoother multitasking, better gaming headroom, and fewer hiccups when the phone is juggling 10 things at once. Now, the display. This is where Samsung clearly wants to flex again. We're talking about a 6.9-inch dynamic AMOLED panel, possibly pushing 144 hertz and hitting around 3,000 nits peak brightness. Pair that with the next-gen Gorilla Glass Armor and an improved touch sampling rate, and this thing is screaming premium from every angle. There's also this interesting new privacy trick making the rounds called Flex Magic Pixel, a feature that apparently hides certain content unless you're directly looking at it. If that's real, that's actually huge. Camera leaks have been a bit of a roller coaster. The main sensor is expected to stay at 200 megapixels, the ultra-wide sticks with 50 megapixels, and then we hit the telephoto rabbit hole. OneCamp says Samsung's keeping a 3X lens plus a 50 megapixel 5X periscope. Another says the 3X might shift to a 12 megapixel unit this time. Either way, it seems like Samsung isn't rethinking the core formula, just trying to clean up the performance and sharpening the results. The selfie camera stays at 12 megapixels, but supposedly gets a wider 85 degree field of view, which honestly is great for group photos or when your friend refuses to scoot closer. The design story is getting spicy too. After years of the floating lens look, Samsung might ditch it for a pill-shaped camera island it'll definitely give the S26 Ultra a different silhouette, something you can spot across a room, which Samsung probably wants. Battery capacity isn't moving, still 5,000 milliamp hours, but the charging finally might. The leaks point to 60 watts wired and 25 watts wireless, not mind-blowing by 2026 standards, but easily the biggest jump Samsung's made in years. Users have been begging for this, and Samsung might actually be listening this time, but look, all of this is still early info. Nothing is locked in and things can change fast when we're this far from launch. But if these leaks are even close, the S26 Ultra isn't just a spec refresh. It's shaping up to be a pretty serious evolution. So what's the upgrade you're most hyped about? That crazy fast RAM? The new privacy display trick? The redesigned camera island? Hit the comments, I'll be lurking there as usual. And if you want to stay in the loop as more leaks hit, you know what to do. Catch you in the next one.